Hey Gemini, welcome to your 2022 yearly tarot reading predictions. Yeah, this would be for those of you who are wanting to get insights on what's coming up for you in love, in life, for the, um, the upcoming year, 2022. So in this reading, I will be using my, my very own um, new tarot deck. So yeah, I've released um, the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot Deck Limited Edition. Currently, it is now available at um, my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box if you're interested. Um, I am yet to do a flip through of this deck. Uh, I'll try to find time in the next couple of uh, weeks. But uh, for the meantime, let's use this for your reading and um, let's, gi let's give this a spin. For Gemini in love and everything in between. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right. If you get this um, deck, by the way, you get a free book that comes with it. Mm -hmm. during this month yeah so check out my etsy shop in the link below or you can follow me in instagram at nomad soul warrior i also have the link in there or you want to dm me you know message me if you have any queries all right all right gemini let's get started gemini Gemini 2022. One more. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. First card. Oh my goodness. It's the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Love it. Death. The Page of Wands, The Hangman, um, Two of Wands, The Queen of Swords, The Eight of Swords, okay, um, in this reading I will be using um, I'll be doing 13 cards uh, for a free flow uh, spread. Four of Wands, okay. To Three of Swords. The Emperor. The Ace of Swords. The Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's just do it this way. Okay. I hope you can see all the cards. Um, all right. Okay, so for 2022, Gemini, basically your focus is what makes you happy? Yeah. What makes you happy? What makes you feel um, emotionally satisfied? Um, what gives you pleasure? Yeah, without any forcing, without any um, push and pull. So that would be your main focus for the year. All right. I see that. Um, well, as we are wrapping up uh, 2021, we're still at the last few um, days or couple of weeks out. Um, I know that there's been, I could feel that in, in your, um, in your current situation, there could be, um, you know, a lot of uncertainties, a lot of, um, conflicting ideas as usual, right? As in any life that we have, but specifically on your end, um, I feel like you may have, um, you may have put off, uh, a situation in your life that no longer uh, sort of serve you. This could be a relationship, 
you know if you have been in in a relationship for some time and or if you have been in connection for some time and even up to now you realize that you can never be on the same page with this person the way you think the way you process things the way you do things are totally different from from this individual that i see and for some reason i am getting that you could be having conflicts with this person or just within you you feel like you know our relationship shouldn't be as hard as this if both parties are are going to be working together but apparently in your end i feel like you may not have really reached this 10 of cups in this year and hence the first card we have on this uh, spread here is death. It seems like there's been an ending. It's either things have ended between you and another party or you have allowed things to end, right? Without you really fighting any any battle at all. Yeah. For the main reason as what I've said, you seem to not be on the same page or you know, you cannot get to a, a compromised or a win-win position yeah in that situation but nevertheless that ending is actually not the final end of it all yeah i feel like that that ending has to end whatever this is it could even be about your job yeah you know if you have been working for so long and um you are not getting the credit the um the credit that you feel you deserve right so it could be that you have ended the struggle of really fighting for something in an environment where competition is just to it's not hard but rather you know it's not worth the fight you know something like that i feel like you allowed things to end and actually that gives way to transforming your life into something more uh, passion driven yeah into something more passion driven I do see here, um, Gemini, that, um, let's see. Um, I do see here that you have a lot of fire within you. You know, fire can be about new ideas, new, um, new things that could um, motivate you, that could bring some, you know, that spark within you, that could give you some reason to continue, give you some reason to live at some point, right? And the biggest takeaway you have from from this year, 2021, and as you ease into the next year, I feel it's more about being ready to take on new things and not be afraid of, of just, you know, of diving into new venture into new things right sometimes we get to be in in situations for so long because it seemed to be very comfortable yeah even if you have a partner or you have a person in your life who probably has been your ex for i don't know maybe three years ago and then you became friends and then it seems like it's very comfortable to have that person in your life but it's no longer serving you well yeah it could even be that the um the connection you have has gone i don't know tiptoed or the scale is imbalanced you know only another person is gaining more while the other person is just waiting for that person to give more so that has to end and i feel like you know that already and your main lesson is your main takeaway from that experience in, in of the last of this year is that never be afraid to take on new ventures even if it means you know feeling that pain of course breaking up is painful right can be painful you can be heartbroken yes but it is worth having it rather than being stuck in a situation that doesn't move that doesn't transform you yeah that doesn't give you more reason to continue or live so now um, easing into the um, 2022 I feel like your life will be like will feel like brand new mm -hmm. it would feel like brand new because you come I feel like you're you're moving into 2022 with less expectations of what's to come yeah um, and you could be you know taking some time off or 
taking some time to be on your own thoughts, to be in your own thoughts, to be in your own, you know, probably some of you, I feel in the beginning of the year, you will find some time to jot down um, your resolutions, your plans for the year, um, your short term goals and all that, that I can see that there's some sense of planning, um, just so you have some guideline or some blueprint that you can go for in, in, in the in in coming year, right? But it is your way of taking a grip and um, uh, putting back structure into your life, yeah? Because I feel you are ready for new things now. You're ready for new, brand new beginnings, yeah? For some of you, this could be, um, this could be you wanting to be in another job, getting a new job. Uh, for some, this could be like moving into another place, relocating, or moving to another apartment or house or home, yeah? I, I do see that happening. And uh, for some, you could even be searching. Yeah, I feel like in the first three months of 2022, you will be spending time um, searching, scouting. So it's more like you're searching for a new job, um, possibly scouting for new ventures or um, for some going online and finding new um, acquaintances and things like that. It's searching and towards the mid year, um, sometime in June, that's when I feel like, um, that's when I feel like you will get to a point where you know what you want then. So it's just that scouting, um, the first few months, it's more about scouting and checking, checking what's out there. Yeah. What makes you tick? What makes you, which of those things around you can be of interest to you? Yeah. And mid year, I feel like you will get to a point of really sort of, inking it in like yeah this is what i want and this is what i what i want to go for so it's gonna be you um um confirming what you want or getting to a point of really knowing what you want to pursue by mid-year and i do see that gemini you're just very unstoppable yeah you are very unstoppable Primarily because um, I feel like you will get a call, an important call about life's choices <laughs> or that could an important call by mid-year. Um, it could be from somebody, a mentor, um, somebody who is pretty influential, mm -hmm. which um, would need you to sort of make a decision life decisions right decisions about your life direction yeah so like i said it could even be you will be asked to relocate for instance so you will have to make a choice are you relocating with your family are you going to be doing this just short term or long that type of um of uh life decisions that i'm talking about um But you will get a call, yeah. You will get a note. You will get a form of information that will come to you, which could really encourage you to to think deeper. This is not just a, a decision of should you take a subway or drive today. You know, it's it's more than that. It's a bigger decision that you need to do. You need to make. And I see that you will have support around you. It will have support around you. It could be, I don't know, it could be a sibling, a mother. It's a female um, female energy here, I feel. It's a female, yeah? Somebody who is also pretty, has influence in you, who could possibly, you know, talk, talk through with you about your options, your choices, yeah. Now, I, f I feel like when you get to a point where you need to make a um, life-changing decision um, mid-year, I feel like you will, 
well, you will take about one or two months to really decide on it. And you'll take the pros and cons, you know, of, of that decision that you're going to do. Um, logically, Gemini, you may think that, oh, this is going to be tough. This may not be easy to deal with. For some of you, it could even be, you know, about, about your love life. Yeah, for some, this could very well talk about you um, deciding, getting to a point where, you know, you're deciding, are you going to be, um, are you going to go on searching for new inspirations, new acquaintances, or are you going to go back to what you have ended prior? But somehow, I feel like you will have to go through that in your head, Yeah. And logically, at some point, you will hit a bump there and, and, and you would think that, oh, shit, this is not possible. It is very difficult to do. But sometimes the key element here is that your mind can only analyze so much. Yeah. Anything beyond its um, normal threshold level, it becomes overthinking. And the more you overthink, the more you can never get to the to the um, to the desired outcome. So the, the key here is that. This decision, especially in the mid-year where you will be faced uh, a situation where you have to make some um, life-changing decisions, you do the analysis logically, that's good, but always remember that after, I don't know, perhaps after two weeks or so, when you have um, done all your thinking, get down to basics, meaning start doing some something to do, like something, move it. Yeah, not just think about it, move it, do something about it. Because the moment you start doing it um, along the process, you will see that there are some nitigrities in there that could give light to the situation, which could give you more information yeah, or additional data for you to really think things through again. So at one point in time, you know, sometimes if, if you have a decision to make, you want to do it, you want to get to the bottom of it right then and there. It doesn't it doesn't work that way think things through if you have the the basic or the the primary plan start executing it because along the way definitely there will be causes of errors there will be course corrections along the way right so think things through but move it yeah that's that's your key here because what i see here Gemini is that mid-year um, decision time that you need to do if done well if executed well yeah um, that's an endeavor that will need a lot of your personal touch to it so mostly if you are doing things if you are doing a project you know or if you are yeah if you're doing a project for instance you you will have some people to help you out, for example. <clears throat> but in this case, I see that sometime in the fall or heading towards the end of the year, there will be a lot of things, a lot of situations where you make the decisions and you do the action as well. No one, no one is good enough to help you but you. So there is a lot here in terms of self-reliance that I see. And... But nevertheless, it's it's a good thing because perhaps this is the, the beginning of it all. That means you've got to put a lot of effort in the beginning, building on the foundation and, and doing exactly the things that you want to pursue. So in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of work for you, but that's how it usually is. In the beginning, there's a lot of work, but later on, you can get some help to, for ex um, additional you know pair of hands to help you out with little work. But the beginning of it all, from the decision making to the onset of the endeavor, it's all about you. Yeah. And there are some areas there where you would need your own, um, you know, unique abilities to solve issues on your own. I think there's a lot of self reliance here, I feel. Yeah. And the good thing is. Even if this sounds um, like very tricky, yeah, especially the life-changing decisions and the new beginnings and all, even if it sounds very tricky, 
the moment this um, gets executed, yeah, you will be happy. You know, that level of, that sense of fulfillment, that sense of, um, yeah, it's more like uh, fulfillment that you have attained um, or that you have completed or attained um, whatever you need to do after making that life decision. That means you made the decision, you stood for it, you executed it, and at the end, you see it happening the way you wanted it to. And there's that level of, you know, fulfillment. Now, um, I feel that this reading is mostly about you, but if we're talking about love, for instance, yeah, I feel like at the same time about, um, you know, mid-year, there could be somebody who would be, uh, I feel that there would be two people, Gemini, um, it could be one or two people, right? But there are additional, I mean, there are energies around you, approaching you, whom um, um, you have here someone, I feel, from the past, you have had some experience with this person and it feels like there's going to be a talk. They wanted to make this, um, to have this conversation with you. Because I feel like this person is also similar to you, somebody who, who thinks a lot. And at some point, they already got to a point where they don't know what to think anymore. Yeah, They've hit, They will hit the road, roadblock on, on how to like make it work with you. So I feel like you will get to a point where you know this person will reach out to you. Another energy I see, though, is that um, for some of you, there could be a... An interesting, I don't know, this could be a secret affair that I am getting. This could be you, um, you know, just being busy with whatever you're doing, making your life-changing decisions mid-year, and you meet someone who sort of hot, um, alluring type of person, or, you know, and you just click, you know, at at some point, you just click with this new person, but you are not really intending for, for things to really be serious. That's what I feel. It's not even a rebound. It's more like the spur of the moment. You hit, you meet someone who sort of have that very strong chemistry towards you, and, and I feel like you will click at that moment, yeah? And for some reason, I am getting that this could be like a secret affair. It could continue yeah even towards the end of the year that <clears throat> there is this secondary energy you may not be focusing on it so much but then when the need arises you will get to meet this person so it's a little bit tricky but yeah let's just stick to um to that for now and um let's see if we're able to dissect that in the upcoming readings i'll do more of this readings hopefully so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates with you, Gemini, in the uh, comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also, um, if you're interested to get the, um, the tarot deck, check it out in my Etsy shop. The link is down below. If you order it this month or this last few days of the year, um, you get the Divine Time book for free. The good thing about that is in this book, The Mystical Tale, the characters here are actually the characters that you will see or depicted in, in the cards. So I wrote this book and I also designed these cards um, all together to be some sort of a pair. Okay? And don't forget to follow me on in Instagram. Be well.